All right. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, we're back for more uh, Wipeout 64. Just realized I popped in on a on a section that has a load screen. I don't know if I pointed out the fact that the load screens, but they actually had to include loading screens on a cartridge just to uh, to decompress the music, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, I actually I, I played a bit of of Wipeout uh, over the weekend. And I knew I wanted to save the one thing that I was halfway decent at uh, to do the last stream that I was going to do for this because I so I made a big deal about it before because I think I I think it's fair to to do so. It's just that there's not a lot of content uh, in this game, which is really weird. It has less content, I believe, than um, both the first two Wipeout games on PlayStation One, and far less content than Wipeout Three, which is kind of like the 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 most like complete release I would say um, on the PlayStation uh, so there's not a whole lot for me to do especially when you're not any good at it and it and you really keep failing at like the race stuff so I I am halfway decent at the weapons one because you don't have to win the race you just have to destroy everybody else which is is good because I can I can kill everyone without you know I can kill enough people to, to pass the race I, I should say um, so that's something halfway uh, entertaining, but that will be yeah the the thing that I will do for you here. And I might not actually uh, succeed the first time, but can probably I want to say pull off one or two of these. As long as I don't lose a. Uh, I don't time out on them. I think that's gonna be my biggest issue, actually. It was one issue for me the last time I did because I think I have to finish the race. That's the one thing. Oh god, yeah, we're uh, got a little bit close. There's also so basically they have one of each challenge for each track, which, like I said, I think that's just a little bit like. You can do a little bit more content-wise. Um, so yeah, basically I've done one one weapons challenge for each of the uh, tracks I've done so far. The first three. So now we're getting into some of the tougher tracks, which is why I'm like, uh, don't. Uh... Oh yeah, see, I timed out. Here. Nope, no, I didn't. They let you. Uh, they let you coast, which is good, but also you know makes you realize that you're gonna be kind of screwed the next time. Good God, I'm really cutting it close. I also have not seen that many uh, opponents. So what you basically do is is really focus in on one opponent. Because all you have to do is get one one elimination to get uh, Oh God. That is rough. And it keeps making me think that I'm going to get the checkpoint when I when I come up towards the end of the lap, and that's not true. I have to, I have to get myself up to the starting line. Which is horrifying. And I'm like, yeah, I did it. And no, I didn't. Oh, I have two eliminations too, so I actually uh, just focus on finishing this race, man. That's all I've got to do right now. For the love of God, take the straightaway. Get there, get there, get there, get there, yeah! We got silver out of that! Wow, we were cutting it really, really close the whole fucking time. Wow, that was that was intense, actually. <laughs> Just the fact... I really do not, uh, I do not look like I'm gonna make it every single lap. Cool. So we'll see if we can do the... If we can knock out the last three of these, because these do not take very long. That was... Those were like 30 second laps. Alright. And we might have to try uh, once or twice. Or more, potentially. Yep. Banging into shit already. Not the way to be at all. Should you grab these boosts, though? How am I so far behind everybody?
I'm too far behind everyone to even hit anybody with a weapon right now. There you are. Alright, there's my pitch. I got somebody. Oh, I'm not gonna do well right now. Alright, let's get there. You've gotta stop hitting walls, you are never gonna make it right now. That's good. At least I got a boost out of it, that's pretty much what I needed. I oh, know that was rocky. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna need to grab that shield when I get the. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. But this is the rough part: is I'm gonna need to grab the shield when I come around for the next lap. And it's gonna take up a lot of time. Oh, I'm not gonna make it right now. I'm gonna have to coast. I'm gonna have to coast through. Yep. There we go. I'm probably going to get myself killed, because there's five laps to do right now. At least I did not, uh, almost run out of time right there. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. Just got to learn the track a little bit better. Learn the track a little bit better and don't fuck up on those turns like that one right there. The first one, I've already. Oh, I'm already doing it. A lot of S curves on this one. Not at the uh, very end of that so far, but not doing great though. Now you got a little bit of slingshot from that guy though. This is okay. This is okay. Not fuck this up. Yeah. Not coasting just yet, but yes. Okay, got shields. Not at zeros. Coasting through the finish line. This is going okay, and I feel like I can count on eliminating somebody by the end of this race to survive. Survive! Survive! Not surviving. Not surviving right now. That was bad. Oh, you fucked yourself pretty hard right now. Yeah, you got this. I could have sworn I would have hit that guy. Come on. Get up. No! You got this. You got this. You can do it. Need these boosts. You got this. You're gonna be alright. Coasting? Yes. Oh, we are really, really backs against the wall right now, though. Still haven't eliminated anybody either. I, think I did okay between the checkpoints that time, though. Yes! We got our elimination! Okay. Right here, I always fuck that up. It is like your best chance to get back some time if you don't fuck it up. Come on. No, damn it. Oh, if I hadn't hit the corner right there. Damn. If I hadn't hit the corner, I would have hit the boost and I would have been able to go right through the checkpoint. 
I'm not doing well with these uh, the starts right now either. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I got somebody too. Awesome. Ah, stop it! You know that's there. Why do you keep doing it? No! Oh, we were so close. Damn it. All right, one more time. One more time. We can do this. Three, two, one, go. Did not get the best start. I was paying attention for it, and I almost got it, but I did not get it. Trying to use these fucking air brakes, trying to do everything the game tells me to do, I'm not good at it. better this time. Oh, come on. I already fucking this up. Badly. Very badly. I gotta be close to eliminating that guy, though. Yeah, we got that one. That is so close. This is not going to go well. Oh, this is not going to last. We're not going to last the next lap. Oh, that's for damn sure. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, that's it. Damn. Try the sixth one. <laughs> It'll go well. Oh wait, no, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Cause like you've already seen me do that one. I don't see. I don't want to just keep doing the same one over and over again. It's so tough. I I don't know. I'll go back and do this one. Yeah, I'll just do this one. That'll be it, though. Welcome to Terra Three, two, so, funny story, uh, I went... Oh, that was bad. What the fuck did you just do? Ugh. Um, so, I keep talking about this top tier of these futuristic racing games on the N64. To me, that's F-Zero. Wipeout and uh, Pod Racer, and honestly, as a personal choice, I would actually take Pod Racer. 
out of the three of them. It has a, a personal... That's a personal thing. It's not a strict uh, analysis of which one of them is the best. Um, but I, I really like Pod Racer, and as a as a objectively, it can stand up to them. Um, but I was doing some Instagram polls. Uh, I wish I could do them all as one poll, but uh, Instagram only lets you do uh, two option polls in your. Oh shit! That guy fucked me up. Okay, that's the first time that's happened on any of these challenges, by the way. Ooh, I gotta get start that time. Uh, so, first one I did, I put up uh, Wipeout versus uh, Pod Racer. And Wipeout. No, not, pod, not Wipeout. Pod Racer won by like a uh, 2 to 1 ratio. Uh, I only got like 15 votes, but uh, even so, it was, it was 2 to 1 in favor of Pod Racer. And I put Pod Racer up against uh, F Zero X, and F Zero X won with a two to one ratio. So I basically said, okay, so does that mean it's fair to say then that out of these top three, which I think are reasonable, I think Rush Rush Twenty Forty Nine is probably. Oh wow, this is this is not normal for these challenges. I have not done. I've not had this happen to me. Um. Nice. Um, so I say, okay, is it fair to say that, uh, for what I think is the top three, uh, a top tier of these type of racing games on here, it would then go, um, Wipeout, and then Pod Racer, and then F-Zero. So that's my, my sort of thing, is like, I like to look at the N64 games in terms of tiers, rather than strictly, um... You know, ranking one against the other, but in that sense, I was still able to say, like, I think that's probably to be expected. I didn't, I wasn't really sure where Wipeout and uh, Pod Racer, if people were gonna prefer one over the other. That was, that was to say, wondering if a bunch of people who hadn't played Pod Racer because they didn't play in '64 were gonna just say, well, Wipeout is great, so Wipeout, based on the PlayStation ones. Ow. Um, but I do that all the time with the, uh, with, uh, telling people, you know, what, what games are good and what games are, are better than others. I say, like, I, I think Banjo, like, Banjo and Mario are, Banjo-Kazooie specifically, are top tier platformers. I, if I had a gun to my head, I'd probably say Banjo is better than, than Super Mario 64. I, I genuinely would say that. But it's a it's a tier it's a tiering it's a tiered system. Do you want a 3D platformer on the 64? Then if you haven't played Banjo or you haven't played Mario, you need to pick one of them and play. And then after that, you can go to the Donkey Kongs and the fucking hell. Okay. Then you can go to the Donkey Kongs and the Banjo Tooies and the in the. Uh, I don't have an opinion really on Conquer's Bad Friday. That could be top tier, that could be next tier. But uh, And then towards the bottom you have Glovers and, and all that stuff. Bottom tier Futuristic Racers are going to have Arrow Gauge. Just don't play that game. It sucks. But, you know, I would think that uh, uh, Rush 2049 probably sits as the the next one at the below the top tier. So that's kind of how I do things. And that's going to be it for Wipeout. Because, like I said, there's not really that much else to do. I'm getting fucked up on these weapon challenges that I've already beaten. And this has not happened to me before. But anyway, uh, so that's it for Wipeout. And I, my only real disappointment in Wipeout um, is that I, I expected more content. Uh, I expect more content from racing games at this point in the N64's lifespan. And I expected more content from Wipeout because I was like, did I just underestimate how much, how many tracks and how many vehicles and how much stuff there to, there is to do in a Wipeout game? And I, I didn't like. I looked at the other Wipeout games from this period, and this game is just doesn't have as much, which is a bummer, because um, it plays really, really well. It has great sense of speed. It has really, really good handling, even though it takes getting used to, because it's a futuristic racing game. It's tough. Um, it looks gorgeous. Um, music's pretty good. Um, I'm not super into it, but, uh, you know, I can't fault the music at all. Um... 
But yeah, it's probably better if uh, you have a bunch of people who are familiar with the series and you can play the multiplayer and, and race against each other. It'd be really good. Um, so that's it for Wipeout. Uh, I, the next game I'm going to do is going to be NBA Live 99, which is, I would say, good timing because basketball season is about to start fairly soon. Not that it really matters that much to me because I don't follow basketball that much. Uh, I was, however, based, just partly based on timing and partly based on the fact that I want to play it. Uh, I was going to play some NBA Jam, the, the recent reboot one. Um, and also, I'm going to be buying NBA Playgrounds 2 because I have to review that. Um, but yeah, so NBA Live 99 is coming up, and that's supposed to be pretty good. And so, it'll get me a, maybe a basketball mood uh, around this time of year. And if I haven't mentioned it, I still really think I probably will do this even though there are more candidates than I thought there would be. But uh, on Halloween, since Nightmare Creatures is around this time as well, I was thinking I would stream on Halloween, which is a Wednesday, uh, pretty much all afternoon, and do Nightmare Creatures, just one big long stream, and see how far we'll get in that game. Uh, so that'll be on the coming up soon. That was Wipeout64. We'll see NBA Live soon. And uh, that's it. Have a good day. I think I'm going to start NBA Live and do like the fantasy draft and stuff and then jump in. So I have stuff to do. Bye.